Good morning and welcome back. I guess if you live long enough, you'll see everything. I'm sure you've heard that before. And after the terrorist attacks in Israel last month, we were all reminded of that fact. What you probably weren't expecting after the attacks was to see the media taking the side of the terrorists and not the people that were just attacked. Besides repeated calls for a ceasefire after at least 1,400 innocent men, women, and children and babies were brutally murdered on October the 7th, the BBC, Al Jazeera, and the media right here at home has been utterly and completely concerned with the well-being of the people of Gaza, not the people of Israel, the people of Gaza, the same people that in 2006 put Hamas in power, not the people of Israel, not the families in Israel that were destroyed forever, not the families that never got to say goodbye, not the hostages still in Gaza. Instead, it's been, what about the people of Gaza? What about sending humanitarian aid to Gaza? What about the innocent people living in Gaza, which is completely backwards? After Pearl Harbor, no one in the U.S. asked about innocent Japanese people who had nothing to do with the attack. It didn't happen after 9-11 either. During the Second World War, the Allies weren't shipping aid into Germany before Berlin fell. So why is Israel treated differently? Why isn't anyone calling for a ceasefire in Ukraine? Why isn't anyone talking about war crimes in Russia? The truth is, the way this entire story has been covered by, by our media says more about how broken we are. Here's a headline for you. The Associated Press is not allowing its reporters to call Hamas terrorists. They won't do it because they claim Hamas is the government that was elected in Gaza, yet somehow the media, our media, has no problem labeling conservatives whatever they want. Extremists, xenophobes, homophobes, racists, bigots, domestic terrorists, all of it. But our media won't call terrorists terrorists. It's wrong. It's a brand new low for the media and for Democrats and for how the rest of the world views us now. So don't be fooled. Israel's got every right to defend themselves, and they will. Stay with us. We'll be right back.